This video is about a negative shock in the money market. We will start by drawing the three markets of goods market, money market, and IS, LM market. Let's start by drawing the Y axis in the goods market which is aggregate demand and the X axis which is output. Then draw the Y axis in the money market which is real interest rate and the X axis which is money demand. Then draw the Y axis in the IS, LM model which is real interest rate and the X axis which is output. In the goods market, we will draw output as upward 45 degree line and the upward aggregate demand curve. The point of intersection is the equilibrium which we will label as A. We will draw a vertical dotted line to reflect the equilibrium output in the goods market in IS, LM model. In the money market, we will draw the real money supply as a vertical line and the downward money demand. The point of intersection is the equilibrium which we will label as A. We will draw a horizontal dotted line to reflect the equilibrium real interest rate in the money market in IS, LM model. In the IS, LM model. R1 and Y1 is the equilibrium point, which we will label as A. Then we will draw the downward IS curve and the upward LM curve to intersect at equilibrium point A. Now the three markets are at equilibrium. The goods market is at equilibrium at point A. The money market is at equilibrium at point A. The IS, LM model is at equilibrium at point A. Let's assume there is a negative shock in the money market such as an increase in price level. This will result in lower real money supply and consequently MS curve will shift to the left and we will label it MS2. We will get a new equilibrium point which is the point of intersection between MS2 and the demand for money curve. We will label the new equilibrium as point B. We will draw a horizontal dotted line to reflect the new equilibrium real interest rate which is R2 in the money market and IS, LM model. Since money supply declined, this will shift the LM curve to the left in the IS, LM model. LM curve will shift to the left crossing point R2 and Y1. So let's label point R2 and Y1 as B1. Then shift LM curve to the left crossing point B1. Since interest rate increased from R1 to R2, this will decrease investment in the goods market based on crowding out effect. Consequently aggregate demand will be lower and output will be lower. In order to get Y2, we need to find the intersection point between R2 and IS curve. We will label this point as B2. Then we will draw a vertical dotted line crossing B2 in order to get the new output in both IS, LM model and goods market. We will label the point of intersection between the 45 degree line and Y2 in the goods market as point B. Aggregate demand curve will shift downward crossing point B in the goods market in order to reflect the increase in real interest rate from R1 to R2 and consequently a drop in investment based on crowding out effect. Now the goods market is at equilibrium at point B and the money market is at equilibrium at point B but the IS, LM model is not at equilibrium. The equilibrium point in the IS, LM model is the point of intersection between LM2 and IS. We will label this point as C then we will draw a dotted horizontal line to reflect the new equilibrium real interest rate as R3 in both IS, LM model and money market. The point of intersection between R3 and the MS2 curve in the money market will be the new equilibrium point which we will label as point C. From the goods market, the aggregate demand curve shifted downward resulting in lower output from Y1 to Y2. As output declined, it will result in lower money demand due to transaction motive. Consequently, money demand will shift downward to MD2 crossing point C. This will result in lower real interest rate at R3. From the IS, LM model. We will draw a dotted vertical line crossing point C in order to reflect the new equilibrium output as Y3 in both IS, LM model and goods market. The point of intersection between Y3 and the 45 degree line in the goods market will be the new equilibrium point which we will label as point C. From the money market, the money demand curve shifted downward resulting in a lower real interest rate from R2 to R3 which will result in an increase in investment in the goods market based on reverse crowding out effect. Consequently, aggregate demand curve will shift upward crossing point C. Now the three markets are at equilibrium. The goods market is at equilibrium at point C. The money market is at equilibrium at point C. 
The IS, LM model is at equilibrium at point C. This means that, once we have a shock either positive or negative, in the goods market or the money market, the market will overreact in the primary market and the secondary market then will correct itself by itself over time in the opposite direction in both the primary market and the secondary market.